So there's a lot of photographers out there who are feeling like they just can't seem to make this happen. And I'm gonna take you through um, an exercise here with some slides that I think will illustrate why this is the um, experience of too many people in our industry. Okay, so we're gonna use John Doe Photographer and often call him JD. And JD's got a session fee for the one hour session that he offers at $200 and he blissfully believes that he makes $200 an hour. Well, let's take a quick reality check. And I've listed off here some pretty realistic places that a lot of time goes in before we can complete a session. There's time beforehand in preparation. There's the travel if you're going somewhere to meet uh, your clients and do the photography. And then after the fact, I think we all know that there's time spent in downloading and calling and file preparation, okay? There, can, uh, there should be a sales appointment at some point. So I've given you a very realistic um, option of just taking a look that we could easily get to eight to 12 hours of time. And I bet some of you might be spending even more so if we assume that it takes eight to 12 hours for him to do a session from start to finish, he's not making $200 an hour, he's actually making between $16 and 67 cents up to $25 per hour. Hmm, that feels a little different than 200. Well, let's take the example even further. If we assume that JD wants to work a 40 hour work week, he can do five sessions per week and make potentially $1,000 a week of gross revenue. Assuming that he's gonna take two weeks off for vacation and therefore work 50 weeks a year, that would be 250 sessions, giving him a gross yearly earning potential of $48,000. Could sound okay, right? Except that we've forgotten some really important pieces. What I have up on this slide is the profitable home-based photography businesses percentages based on PPA's benchmark survey that shows you that you don't keep 100% of every dollar that comes in, okay? Now, JD isn't really running a profitable business, but we're gonna go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt that he is actually within spec for his general expenses at 30% and his cost of sales at 25% and that he is actually able to keep 45%, okay? So with that 45% in mind for his compensation, well, what happens? Well, now that $48,000 actually becomes $21,600 that he could potentially pay himself. He's now worked 2,000 hours for that $21,600 and that makes his effective hourly rate $10.80. You guys, that's not even minimum wage in most of our states anymore. How are you feeling? Some of you are feeling really good because that's not you. And a few of you may be starting to have a little bit of a light bulb moment and you might be starting to realize why this isn't working. So let's help you make it work.